What's up, YouTube? Appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get straight into the video. Now, before I get into the video, I want to say I appreciate everybody hit that like button, that notification bell. It really helps my videos get recommended. Now, everybody been wanting DJ Academics to drop that interview that he had with YB, but YB was saying, you know, wait until he, you know, something happened to him, he ended up dying or something like that. Then, you know, DJ Academics to drop the interview. Now, every once in a while, Academics end up speaking about the interview. He bring up things that, you know, actually happened. So we get a little bit of bits and pieces of what actually happened. But, you know, he was saying that the stuff that YB was saying was kind of disturbing and it's sad. And, um, you know, it's really deep, but he ended up speaking on the fact that why be always you know talking about death and you know he gonna end up dying soon and he always you know talking about his kids but you know he was saying like something real like you know he really don't live for his kids he love them but he don't live for them and he don't really know how to be a father and academics also you know spoke on the fact of the um you know letter that yb end up sending out and um he was saying like you know all that stuff is you know genuine you know him knowing yb you know everything he's saying and, you know that's the way he really talk and he speak and you know it was all genuine with this stuff with wendy williams yeah. I do believe young boy is someone who feels like bad things happen to him because it's just meant to be and he's used to it so you know as uh, like I remember talking to him and one of the only reasons and by the way I think that's one of the reasons you guys never heard a conversation with me and him it was disturbing a little bit Young boy was so fixated on death yeah. and so accepted. He was so accepted yeah. of what it would look like when he passed away. Yeah. That even the conversation with him, like I remember even, I was like, yo, whoa. Yeah. And he was trying to make me understand, but I was like, what? what? He's a very, he's a very interested individual, and just one of the people. Like again, if you care about people from this culture, but you don't know too much of what they've been through and where they're from, never. It it saddened me when I had that conversation with young boy that he felt that he didn't deserve anything good in life, like he didn't deserve the happiness, he didn't deserve to be the void of all the things he was going through. He felt like, and, and and this is like, you know, unfortunately with the passing of, you know, DMX, even here in X talk about that shit too, where, where he felt like he was here to bear the burden of, not only of society, but his job was to suffer. And young boy was talking to me about it, and I couldn't understand it. Like, for the life of... I just couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand why he thought that sufferation and things that were just torturous were things that he should endure. Um, I do believe his comments about Wendy Williams... As he says, he says, let me suffer in peace. He says, tell Miss Wendy Williams she has a good soul. She's a beautiful woman. I can see through all the bad comments. Tell her just count her blessings. I don't think he's being smart at all. I think, I remember when I had a conversation with him. He would ask why I didn't understand some of the things going on with him. And he would ask me about my upbringing and my background and he was just kind of looking at me and just say like you're fortunate for that but that's not like almost kind of like accepting that the world and the life he's lived I didn't come from that world I wouldn't really all the way understand it and even though I might always question hey why do you act like this or why, why does this happen it will never be on the level of what he's experienced and that's why i think he's like yo i'm not gonna get mad at wendy like wendy's never been in the positions i've been in it's very sad um all love to young boy i remember ha having conversations with him like it goes so much it just goes deeper than what you can imagine 
conversations about his mom, conversations about his family life, conversations about his kids. Like, like when he told me, he was like, yo, he loves his kids, but he doesn't know how to be a father. It was so honest. It was one of the most honest things I've heard. When, when he was like, yo, I just don't, I don't know how to. Like a lot of people who have kids, that they say they're living for their kids. Young boy was like, yo, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not. I love them, but I don't know necessarily how to be that person that everybody thinks a quote unquote father should be because I never had that. It's a very deep conversation with him. And um, I said, I said him my um, love and support, but he's one of the people I don't think at all he's not being sincere. So everything you read in here, I think he's being sincere, 100%. One of the, the most disturbing things that I found with, and that's why I, th I think whenever the interview comes out, it comes out. He was, too, I feel he was too focused on his own death. He was talking to me like he was seen that day or that moment so vividly that I couldn't reroute his vision and his thoughts outside of that. And I think that was sad. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what else should we talk about? Uh, oh, update 69? Should we call 69? I don't know what 69 is up to. Now, as far as the Quan Rondo situation, you know, he was doing the interview. I, um, he dropped it today. His, I think this might be the last interview, but he ended up speaking about the end of story situation. So that song, you know, a lot of people were saying like, you know, it was connected with Crazy Story. He ended up, you know, because he died, you know, King Von died. He ended up saying end of story to, you know, his crazy story. But, you know, he was trying to clarify like, you know, that's not what really happened. He was basically, you know, he called his mans up to basically show proof. But his mans end up, you know, telling the story of, you know, Quando Rondo came up with in the discussion and then you know end up going with in the story but it had no intentions of you know trying to play off you know King Von's crazy story and you know making it in the story but a lot of things that goes on with these rappers you know we think that you know everything lined up but a lot of this stuff you know be you know a coincidence a lot of times so you know I'm not saying he wrong or he was right or you know he was lying or anything i'm just saying like you know that happens a lot where you know a lot of things line up but that's not what actually happened i appreciate everybody who made it this far in a video i know most of my audience is like you know nba young boy and tbg fans and stuff like that so you know since he locked up you know i'm trying to put out some you know stuff for y'all so y'all can watch it and you know keep up to date and you know see what's really going on but y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you in the next video